Hey everyone, welcome back to the Heretic Circle channel. It is I, Jack, and today it's going to be a different video. Um, um, most people may know this, or most people in the community may already follow this guy, especially if you're a musician, Rick Beato. Amazing producer, very um, forward-thinking, and how can you say, he's just a, an, an amazing uh, producer he has a great channel on youtube interviews amazing people well he has this video about ai generated music and I, i'm pretty sure everyone has come around or heard uh the discussion when it comes to ai art uh, maybe AR, ai movies <laughs> well here we go it's ai music and it's not something new ai music actually has been around for a good number of years but what he's mentioning or providing examples of is actually kind of concerning um so i figure you know what let's let's all watch this and i'll share my thoughts as we go you guys have been hearing me talk about AI and how advanced some of these things are getting. I mean, listen to this. This sounds so realistic to me. Especially when it gets to this part here. Actually, that's Jacob Collier. That's not actually AI. <laughs> but a couple... I'll be honest. I've seen this before, so I know what what he's talking about. But I want I want to discuss it with everyone here. Weeks ago, somebody sent me a song that I heard that is actually AI. Check it out. Harmonies. I mean, hearing that that is an AI song and as you can see in the bottom the prompt that was used on the platform he's, he's going to mention eventually um what was used to create it and i heard this i saw this video on my phone and i couldn't really hear it and to be honest and i have one one earbud right now i can't hear what he's going to mention but when you just listen to it as an unknowing person, you know, just someone just walking around and it comes across, you know, if you like that style of um, country music, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be like, well, Dosh Garnet, that's, that's made by a computer. You're not, you're gonna be like, oh, who's that? You know, the common, the, the, the average common music listener is it really all that knowledgeable in all the other things, you know, the, the productions and what it takes to make the song and all that. They're just listeners. So they're just going to go for it and see like, oh, do, do I groove with it or not? You know, Southern accent. To street town tonight. We don't need to talk things through. You can cry the whole way to Carolina O. Feels all right to you. you may be saying this sounds actually better than the stuff that you play on the Spotify countdowns. Well, it's funny. I play this song. I'm walking with my phone. I start playing it in the kitchen. And Dylan looks at me and goes, that's AI. And I said, what? It is AI. How do you know that? He said, it's got this weird sound to it. And I said, what do you, what? Is it some high pitched thing that I can't hear? <laughs> he goes, no, it's something in the voice. It's so obvious. So a bunch of his buddies came. Okay, see something in the voice. So I think, um, like if anyone's seen AI art, you know, pictures and whatnot, you can tell like fingers are like weird and faces are not all there sometimes a limb is missing and whatnot so when it comes to this the audio um i have a feeling what it is is that i mean you hear it and you go you, you can hear the structure it's structured properly um in instrumentation is actually pretty damn good 
audio or i mean the vocals i think it's it's trying to mimic autotune in in a way that autotune kind of um sounds filtered and has this wobbly effect so i think that's what what it is came over a couple days later all 10th graders and i put together a little playlist of 10 songs five were ai songs and five were not ai songs and i start playing them one of them was a jacob collier thing that they didn't know i start playing them and it's funny because dylan instantly got all the ai ones correct and the other ones he goes no this is real and there were songs they'd never heard but the other kids couldn't get them for something that he can hear so the other day somebody sends me an email and he's like I wrote this song that I think is a hit with AI. So I start playing it. She took her favorite horse on the beach Where she couldn't hear her phone so out of reach Sad little girl I'm walking in the hall with my phone again and Layla says, why are you listening to AI? I was like, what? How do you know that that's AI? She's like, are you kidding me? You can't hear that? The echo in the voice? See, the echo in the voice and I think it's primarily because auto tune sounds a certain way. I mean, if if a lot of the a lot of the people who listen to heavy metal or, or whatever metal, we've all we've all have heard other genres. And if you listen to like pop music and, and hip hop and and hell even Ramstein's last album, <laughs> there's a song in Ramstein's last album uh, where he uses auto tune. Um, it's like a filter effect and i i i hear that that's what i hear and but see the thing is to me it sounds like any other modern country pop singer what they do now um i mean i don't listen to country music i really don't because i i can't resonate with it and I know they're going to say, well, you listen to depressive, suicidal black metal and you resonate to that? Yes, I do. <laughs> but for some reason, country, I just can't. Especially with, I mean, come on. A lot of, not all. I'm not, I'm going to generalize it. And I apologize if you like country music. I am going to generalize it. But I mean, when you're singing about, you know, a life that I have no clue about. I'm not going to really resonate or gravitate to it, especially when it's a, a life that, well, <laughs> I may never achieve. So, yeah, but I think that's what it is. It's just that, like, they call it, well, his daughter says echo effect. I think it's more of a, like, filtery, but, I mean, that's auto-tune nowadays. It's like, when there's no echo in the voice. She just has a weird sound. I said, what is it? And then, then I go over to Dylan, I ask him. He's like, oh my God, that is so fake. And I was like, wait, what? And I play it again. Sad little girl, you closed all the doors and now her favorite song just never comes uh, on. The okay, I hear it now. Okay, but I don't, I couldn't catch it really, to be honest, on the phone. When I was watching this clip earlier on the phone, I couldn't catch it. But when you put your earbuds in and you really hear it, you hear it. It's auto tune does have like a filter. This is more than a filter, so it's really wobbly. So, oddly enough, my old ears are not catching that on the phone. But for young ears, maybe they're catching it. The funny thing is, this guy writes to me. He says, "I think I wrote a hit song with AI." What do you mean you wrote a hit song? The prompt is <laughs> Ten rock, is not wrong. He wrote it. Rock, he wrote the prompt music, up. Melodic singer, songwriter, instrumental. Prompt Dolly Parton, indie rock. Tears in the sand. That was it. I guess that's the prompt. Then this metal band writes me the other day. They're a band from Belarus and say they have a new song. By the way, that's not the first metal band to do it. There is an actual um, metal band out there somewhere that they even did a whole music video and it's all AI generated music. I think the guy did do some programming, some altering, because it sounded pretty good, but everything was AI to a degree. Um, that's an AI generated, completely Although AI generated thing. Now they're actually a band that has other things on Spotify, but they sent me this song.
the guitars sound not like guitars. Those are not. That's not a, a an intonation of a of a string getting hit or even a chug. That's it's it sounds more like keyboards to me. These are all done with the same program called Udio. That's the program Udio. I'm pushing back against the grain I stand. Breaking the mold they try to cast for me. Eyes open wide, no more the will to blind. To me, it kind of sounds like, um, <laughs> it's like, uh, what do they call it? It's not, I guess it's like prog metal or folk metal or, I'm not a big fan of that stuff. You know, it's, it's cool fantasy. It's like listening to, um, a metal version of a D and D game, and I, I I've played D and D. I'm a nerd. I've played it. Believe me, I actually enjoyed it. We didn't finish the campaign. I enjoyed it, but I just it's always about you know stuff I can't relate to. <laughs> okay, so then I go to this website Udio and I start looking at different things, and I find this one movie score thing that's it's called a handful of dust. It's supposed to be like spaghetti western thing, and click on it I'll be honest and okay this is a, a score supposedly uh, kind of basing basing itself off of Ennio Marcone I'll be honest I've heard possibly one of the best scores he's ever done which is uh, the big gun down and this is pretty damn close uh, I'll, I'll say that it's Pretty damn close to that. Now, of course, it's Ennio Morricone's style music done by AI, trained by his scores. Now, when you listen to this, you can see that this is something that people will use in the future. They will just bypass Actually, composers and use this. I've been saying this forever. Not everyone can tell that this stuff is not real. Most people cannot tell the stuff. Some of you may be saying, wow, I cannot believe this. Yeah. Some of most you will people, like some of this stuff. I kind of like the most Carolina general Wilson, audience I have to say. General music uh, then listeners? I just found this uh, chill music thing. This is They're called Just like, For Me, Chill what? Step, Good Vibes. <laughs> Now this is more where it's, it's so blurred, you can't tell. The sun is rising. I wouldn't be able to tell if this was AI generated or not, to be honest, if I would have heard it. Because the yeah, vocal, there's a lot of electronic female vocalists who have This that is tone. the thing that I've talked about for years, is all the digital processing of the human voice that's happened with auto-tune and, and everybody else, oh, here Rick goes again <laughs> on beat correct. Shut up, old man. Get with it. Analog is dead. <laughs> Oddly enough, right before I, I was, I'm starting making this video, I was looking at a cassette replicator cassette cassette tape replicator because i saw another video earlier about how cassette tapes are actually picking up so vinyl we all know vinyl but apparently cassette tapes are kind of coming up and the site i found lets you do some pretty awesome looking cassette tapes so i don't know man i don't know i don't have a cassette player myself but i know there's a company um from china who they've made a cassette player with uh, Bluetooth. And well, of course, you just connect to your headphones or your sound bar and boom, there you go. Although it does, it is apparently a little noisy. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Um, I'll, I'll try to find it. I'll link it in the video. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it, we're at an age now where we get everything from the cloud 
and unfortunately there are repercussions we're, we're gonna go through them action and pitch correction he hates autotune everything bad with autotune it's like look if you want to sound like computers it's easier for computers to sound like computers <laughs> than it is for people to they sound like computers their language. We'll, just, we'll just bypass the people and the companies that make this stuff will make all the money because people will listen to this and it's funny even though okay right there that what he said i think is the key and companies companies i think there's one company i forgot who it was they actually signed a digital artist it's not a person it's just an avatar and <laughs> they signed it because apparently it was actually um tracking and and getting a following so they signed it to a deal so companies are the key word here oh, dylan can recognize this stuff every time I play it for him. He said to me, he's like, in six months, I probably won't be able to tell the and difference. That's sad. That's I can't sad. tell what he's hearing and why he can recognize it instantly. And Layla can hear it too, but there's something in it that they can instantly recognize. Layla calls an echo. I don't know what it is, but it will get better. No question about it. It will get better. Oh, yeah. They have prompts that are written right on here. The prompt for this chill music says prompt, chill, chill step house, hip hop, Chill hop, chill wave, strong female. <laughs> as long as you can write out growing. your idea of That's what it would sound like in adjectives, you got it. People will do this Same thing and they'll just make up art. their own songs on platforms like this. They'll have their own playlists. And you basically can make it a copy of the stuff that you already like. Why won't people do that? They will. What happens to the musicians? Who makes the money? Does UDO make it? Is anyone getting paid for the stuff it's trained on? How do you even know what it's trained on? I went. I don't think it's gonna be Yudio who gets the money. No, I my my thought on this is that they will get either bought or their technology will get bought and integrated into companies. And right now, I mean, for us who are in the metal community or you know whatever. I mean, right now you're probably thinking, well, I listen to Norwegian black metal. Um, what's, what's a good label? Um, I'll just see. Death Like Silence is never gonna, gonna get a computer to do my music. You never know, man. You never know. This, we live in a capitalistic world. Not a, I'm in the U.S., so it doesn't matter. I'm in capitalism, but... The world really runs off capitalism and eventually you do need money to survive. So, but companies also need money because they're shareholders. So who's to say that they're not going to just get, try to get something similar or make their own. And ultimately, because see, here's the thing we are now, if you remember, um, a while back, there was a video of. I think they made an AI video of Will Smith eating spaghetti and it looked fucking horrific. It looked like something out of a fucking horror film. They redid it. I think two years later, it looks almost legit. I think maybe you've even seen the one where it's, um, uh, what's his name from the Smiths? Uh, uh Morrissey, Morrissey eating, <laughs> eating meat. Um, Again, it looked horrific. I bet you now, if you redo that video now, it will look like it will look kind of movie-ish. You know, the, the the frame rate will be different. It'll look maybe cartoonish, but it will look like Morrissey eating and enjoying a big juicy T-bone. It really will. Um, AI technology, technology as a whole. It technically advances every six months. When when I went to school for technology, um, many years ago, it was the 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 time frame was maybe every five years. Then it came three, then two. Now it's every six. Uh, people who are in programming, they now you can ask them if you know anyone who's in programming. Ask them. How often do you have to learn a new language? Before it used to be every so often. Now it's almost every year. You have to learn how to code in either a, a variant of a new language or of an old language, or you learn a new language. So 
technology, man, it's it, it it's exponentially smaller now. The time, the window of how quickly things advance. So AI, the, when it comes to AI music, you're looking at every genre will be. Well, a- AI will have the capability of creating a song in any genre, even throat music, even throat music. I've been testified in front of Congress for one of these, you know, information things. It was uh, I was in the seventh of nine things, and they've done nothing about it. They don't even know what to yeah, do about it. Yeah, he did go to Congress I don't know what there can be about done it. about it, but it's going to replace the US government people. Has nothing. One of my they, things they don't was even know like, what to do. I was thinking like, okay, you're on stage and you have somebody with a laptop or a couple of people or people in the audience are prompting things. And then you have some guy that's got a great ear that can shred over stuff and they improvise over, you know, fish kind of songs or something, <laughs> right? Or widespread panic, your jam tracks or, you know, whatever. The Grateful Dead or they do some fusion stuff and people that have a great ear and can improvise and you can actually interact with it. That'd be a cool use for AI. I can see that. But this, for for general listening stuff, people are going to make up their own songs. It's like making up your own mixtape, except it's your own things that you already like. And you feel like you own it, even though you're actually combining works of of other people that have already written things like this. So we're at this weird inflection <laughs> point now. And I don't think I'm we really are. I'm really curious to see what you guys we, think. There's, if you we're can not there yet. We're getting there. This immediately. Maybe like my kids can. The, the th- thing that I couldn't believe is walking down the hall with my phone playing it and Layla, why are you listening to AI again? I was like, what? You can hear that? Said, oh my God, it's so obvious. Love to know your thoughts. Don't forget, hit some. All right. So that I'm telling you, when I saw this video, I thought, crap, <laughs> this is not good. And I, I don't mean it. In a, in a bad way, look, I, I, everyone has used AIR. I've used AIR. And I get it, but there there really should be limitations on a lot of stuff, uh, especially when it comes to music, movies, paintings. There should be limitations. But the thing is, with this type of technology, there is no limitation until, you know, um, there's two ways to get the limitations. One People become very profitable off it. And then once that happens, governments need to step in and say, no, 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 no. You're cutting us out. We want in. So we need a percentage of this. So you can keep doing what you're doing, but we want a percentage. Uh, So the same thing would happen with companies. If what Rick mentions, if people start creating their own AI music, their own playlists, you know, they make their own playlist that's a combination of Slayer, Black Diamond Murder, Mayhem, and Miles Davis. And somehow that becomes very popular within their own circles. A company will say, you know what? Oh, no, no, we can do that. We can wait. That's getting popular. No, no, no. We, we can do that. We let's grab this company or the 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 technology we'll make our own we'll promote it under a name and see here's the thing they have companies have the money for advertising um just to push they have the money to push it out and the average listener they're not going to notice and they're not probably going to care and then ultimately the art dies i'm not saying this is going to happen tomorrow I'm not saying it's going to happen in five years, but in time, the landscape of music, musicianship will be something that is unknown to a lot of us, especially the ones who became influenced by our whoever may be Pink Floyd, Nine Inch Nails, Slayer, whoever may be. That's going to be a different landscape, but those are my thoughts. I'm going to link uh, Rick's video in the description. I really, really recommend uh, you watch the whole thing. Um, go watch his other interviews. He has an amazing, amazing channel. I just wanted to comment on this particular topic because, I mean, I love music. I make music. Not for a living. As a, as, as a, 
as a um, pastime, really. I would love to make music professionally, but it's until that happens, I just do it for, for me. And to see that ability get taken away, well, I kind of don't like that. I mean, yeah, the guitars are always going to be made, drums are going to be made, but maybe they won't. I mean, when's the last time you saw a VHS player? You know, now cassette players are starting to come back to some degree, but they were gone. So we're becoming a digital world. Cyberpunk 2077 has become really, really close or reality, come closer to reality. So anyways, well, those are my thoughts. Leave a comment. Let's discuss. Like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Like, like I usually mention, go to heretechcircle.com for clothes, vinyls, prints, whatever. But yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers.